All right, RSR family, y'all know I love my rock and roll. Led Zeppelin, one of my favorite bands ever. Today, we get one of my favorite rock and roll singers, and we get him solo, Mr. Robert Plant. But before we get into what song, if you guys are new here, we welcome you to Rob Squad Reactions. You are here Monday through Sunday, three times a day, with your boy Jay. Hey, y'all. You're also here with your girl, Amber. And today, yes, we are checking out Robert Plant. Now, he is a member of one of the best bands of all time. Oh, for sure. Led Zeppelin. And I loved him in The Honey Drippers. I'm sorry. I'm still shook. I still, I'm still shook yeah. about that video I song. I still love that song so much. So, today we're checking out one by Robert Plant by himself. And the song is titled, In the Mood. We're ready to jump right into it. Make sure you guys like the video, hit that subscribe button, and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss a video. And I'm used to the rocking Robert Plant voice. So when we went to the Honey Drippers, oh it was my a gosh, lot I different. I was like, what is this? So I'm excited to see everyone get solo. But it's just Led Zeppelin is such a great band. So dynamic. We should not have been surprised by his work with the Honey Drippers. I am so excited that he's going to do with this one, though. We're ready to jump right into it. You guys send in the suggestions. We give the people what they want. Let's check out Robert Plant in the mood. Let's get it. some Robert Plant. Amazing, amazing when it comes to vocals. But I like his rock vocals better. Okay, but that's the thing. I feel like in this song, it's not the that's not exactly the point. Like, we're right, yeah, I know Led that. We know, yeah. that he can, we know his vocals are out of this world. But I like I, Led Zeppelin Plant. Yeah, but I think in this one, it's more about the cadence. Like, I love, like, move, like in the mood, move. right? I love how the cadence is fast and then it's it, the way he draws out the, the next note in the mood, you know? I love the cadence switch, and I love that it kind of just has that same cool rhythm in the way he sings it. And what stands out the most behind him is really those beautiful way the instruments are, are incorporated. I mean, think about that when that bass line came in, we both caught on to that when it had its moment. And then when we have the other, the electric guitar, it's played in such a cool tone, and it's used in the perfect places where it just stands out to where it makes it fun, but I'm catching on to his cadence, and I just kind of like rolling with his voice no, on this one. I, I like it. I like, obviously, Led Zeppelin, Robert Plant. 
that's my favorite Robert Plant. Well, I mean, also it's I, hard to top Led Zeppelin. Right. <laughs> but this is still cool as well because, like you said, it, it has that catch of that in the mood. Yeah. And, the, and, and like the speed at which he's saying it and like the cadence at which when that's he's... That's what's impressive. When he's saying it, the cadence of the instruments behind him mix really cool with yeah. that part as well. And but we, it's... Sorry, it's just like just like with the Honey Drippers. I was like, it's it, it's a softer voice plan. But that's the thing. is a lot of times when these artists are with their, you know, their main bands, we know that you guys have taught us that some of them do get to get more of their creative side more out. More freedom, yeah. But that's tough, right? Because we know he had such a Steve free, Perry. Right, of course. That's the one I was thinking of. <laughs> but we know he had, like, such a um, creative say in mm-hmm. Led Zeppelin, too. So to see just how much of an artist he is, to be able to tap into the very different things and very different varieties that Led Zeppelin gave us, to be able to give us what he did with Honey Drippers. And then here, it just shows the creative he is to be able to do so much, so well. And just musically, like that's what we're talking about here, it's kind of just always together, musically. Let's get back. Oh, we're going to check that out. Awesome. No, it was cool. And, like, at, at the end, I, I was thinking, like, it kind of gave me, like, like a like a Phil Collins type of vibe. Because, you know, like, at the very uh-huh. beginning, we listened to him. We were like, oh, this is awesome. Like, we thought he was, like, really serious. And then we got to some of his solo, uh, gen- not his solo, but his Genesis it's, stuff. We're like, who is this guy? Yeah. yeah. I, I get kind of that same feeling from Robert Plant as well because, you know, obviously the Led Zeppelin ties, but when he goes solo, it's just so, so different from what I think a lot of us would expect, but it's still it's still cool at the same time. For sure. There was also something about this one that was almost relaxing. Like, when I do yoga, I always find songs that have that relaxing, like a tranquil feeling. And... I would not expect to go into a Robert Plant song and think Mm-mm. that I'm going to feel that same way Zen. and maybe take that away. It felt, I don't know, it was the way the instruments were used. It was the fact of the way he was delivering those lines. It, we, Like I said, we know he has a range, but in this one it was just more about the, the cadence and you know how he gave us those right. notes. It was beautiful. It was relaxing. Mm-hmm. Like I said, dare I said tranquil. There was something about it that... I really enjoyed. Well, thank you guys so much for that suggestion. As we always send you out of here, we love you, we thank you, we appreciate you. And remember, every day that you wake up, it is a blessing and that you are blessed. And for your new family members, hit that subscribe button down below. 
We welcome y'all to the RSR family, but you have a goal every day just like we do. Let them know, man. All right, y'all. All you got to do is make somebody smile. We love you guys. Till next time, we'll see y'all later.